Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Clint Eastwood to put the miracle on the Hudson on the big screen. Boeing starts production on the 737 MAX. Airbus releases flight data recorder findings on the A400M crash in Spain. I'm Brie Cross, it is June 4th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Clint Eastwood has announced his next movie project, and it's one that will tackle a story for which we all know the outcome, and we will probably go see it anyway. Eastwood will direct a movie based on the life of Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger. The pilot who ditched a U.S. Airways Airbus A320 in the Hudson River after a bird strike in January 2009. Not a single life was lost when the airplane went down in the river. It is reported that Sullenberger said, quote, I am very glad my story is in the hands of gifted storyteller and filmmaker Clint Eastwood and veteran producers Alan Stewart and Frank Marshall. The project could not have found a better home than Warner Brother Pictures. This is truly a dream team, end quote. Eastwood will also produce the movie through his company, Malpaso Productions. The movie is being adapted from Sullenberger's memoir, Highest Duty, My Search for What Really Matters, which he co-wrote with Jeffrey Zaslow. The first Boeing 737 MAX is on its way. Boeing's Renton, Washington facility has started building the first 737 MAX on schedule. Last week, employees started to assemble the wings for the first 737 MAX flight test airplane. The wings are the first 737 components to be assembled in the Renton production process. Machine operators loaded the 737 MAX wing skin panels and stringers into the new panel assembly line that uses automation to drill holes and install fasteners in the upper and lower wing panels. The first 737 MAX wing spars were also loaded into the automated spar assembly machines. The unfinished skins, stringers, and spars were machined by Boeing's Fabrication Skin and Spar Facility located in Auburn and Fredrickson, Washington. The wings will be attached to the first 737 MAX fuselage on the new central line in the Renton Final Assembly Facility later this year. To date, the 737 MAX has 2,720 orders from 57 customers worldwide. After the break, three engines failed to produce power on the Airbus A400M crash. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. Airbus Defense is now releasing preliminary information regarding the loss of the A400M aircraft in Spain last month. Their information indicates that studies of the digital flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder readouts have been successfully completed. It's been confirmed that engines numbers 1, 2, and 3 experienced power frozen after liftoff and did not respond to the crew's attempts to control the power setting in the normal way, whilst engine 4 responded to throttle demands. The three affected engines remained at flight idle for the remainder of the flight despite attempts by the crew to regain power. Preliminary analysis have shown that all of their aircraft systems performed normally and did not identify any other abnormalities throughout the flight. The investigation continues and further updates will be given if significant new information becomes available. It is Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. Music 
The IMC Club is a welcomed addition to our partnership and we can honestly say it's about time an organization like this was formed. All of us in aviation know that an instrument rating can expand the pilot's ability to aviate, but flying IMC can be deadly for a non-proficient instrument pilot. IMC Clubs is the brainchild of Redick Wierzykowski, who saw a need to help IFR-rated pilots remain current. The IMC Club is a membership-based, nonprofit 501c3 organization focused on instrument-rated pilots and flight instructors. Their intent is to create a community of pilots in order to share information, provide recognition, foster communication, promote safety, and build proficiency in instrument flying. IMC Club chapters throughout the nation offer monthly meetings during which pilots can network and share knowledge and experiences. Through the IMC Club website and its structure of local chapters, they are providing a huge step to increase instrument flying safety for the general aviation community. We thank the IMC Club for participating in the Airborne Initiative and for what you do to increase safety in general aviation. After these messages, UL Power Firewall Forward Kits to become available. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Now certified, Aspen Avionic Single Band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI-340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery. Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. <music> Kowloon Aviation has contracted to design and produce firewall forward kits for popular kit building aircraft. This makes the choice to use a UL power engine easier when the airframe kit manufacturer has not developed their own installation for the UL power engine. Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel says the Emirates Airlines has an advantage because of government support. Emirates Airline President Sir Timothy Clark says he is surprised and more than a little disappointed. He says his airline has a positive economic impact in the Chicago area. FedEx has permanently retired 15 aircraft and 21 related engines. They continue to rationalize capacity and modernize their aircraft fleet to more effectively serve FedEx Express customers. An additional 23 airframes and 57 engines are slated for retirement. NASA and Boeing engineers spent two weeks in Shreveport, Louisiana, testing non-stick wing coatings designed to shed bug guts. Smashed bugs create drag and increased fuel consumption. Shreveport was chosen as a test site because of its significant bug population. Lieutenant General Ellen Polakowski, the Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition Military Deputy, was promoted to the rank of General effective June 8th. She is now the third female four-star general in Air Force history. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Google is making some progress with its plans to offer internet service from a constellation of balloons floating high above the Earth designed to make inexpensive internet service available in areas where there is currently not coverage. It is reported that a new 50-foot tall launcher affectionately referred to as the birdhouse has been developed that partially automates the launch process. The auto launcher has canvas sides to protect the delicate balloons from winds as high as 15 miles per hour, according to the report. It is also reported that the floating relay stations are now able to communicate independently between each other rather than going through a ground station. That gives the balloons a communication range of about 250 to 500 miles, rather than having to stay within 50 miles of a ground station. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage 
Have the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.